everyone, welcome back to Beyond the Studio Pilates. Today I want to take you through swimming. Now this is a really great all over body workout. You can do it either in the four point kneeling position or on your front and I'm going to try and talk you through both at the same time. This is a great core workout. It's also going to build strength in your shoulders and in your legs as well as challenging your balance and coordination. So let's get going. If you're doing four point kneeling, you need to really focus on bringing your wrist back down under your shoulder. If you're doing it on your front, really focusing on that core connection and making sure you're not pushing yourself into the mat. I'm just going to demo four point kneeling today. So you're coming into your four point kneeling or on your front. Everybody come with me. Wrist is staying under your shoulder, knee is staying under your hip, tilting that pelvis so your tailbone is off towards the back wall. Remember if you did want to do four point kneeling and you find it's uncomfortable on your wrist, you can always make a fist. Now we're going really slowly today and going to control the movement. So we're taking an inhale in the middle. Then we're going to exhale. Slide an arm out along the floor for as far as it can go before you feel like your fingers are coming off the floor. And then you're just going to stretch that arm out. Hold it there and then slowly bring it back to the floor and slide it back in. So if you're on your front, you're just going to stretch the arm out in front of you. Other arm. So we're just stretching out through your arm and then slowly lowering it back down. When you bring your arm back down, there shouldn't be a change in weight. So think about, again, a bit like with the plank, when you bring that arm back in, it's like it's never been gone. Hand goes back underneath your shoulder and the weight doesn't really change. Other arm goes out, keep thinking belly button to spine. Eye line stays down between your hands. Final one to each side, stretching out through that arm, try and make that arm longer and then slowly bring it back in. Eye line stays between your hands, core stays engaged. Final one here. And then we're going on to your legs. So with your legs, same thing, core engaged, try not to shift the weight. We're just going to slide that leg out behind you. And then lift and lengthen. So don't think about the height, think about the, the length that you can create. Check in with your hip, make sure you haven't hip hitched holding it here for me and then slowly lower your foot to the floor and then slide that leg back in making sure your knee comes under your hip if you're on your front be careful you're not lifting from your knee make sure you're lifting from your thigh belly button to spine core engaged other leg slides out then lift and lengthen keep your hips next to each other if you if you're in your four point kneeling and then slowly lower that foot to the floor and slide it back in and remember the weight shouldn't shift so try not to shift think about just slowly lowering that knee down and the weight staying where it is core engaged other side try and make that leg longer every time you take it out and then slowly bring it back in going to do one more to each side as a single leg and then we're going to move on to our opposite arm and leg belly button to spine core engaged slowly moving that leg away and stretching it out try and make it longer careful you're not moving your hips backwards keep your hips over your knees okay so from here we're going on to our opposite arm and leg so core engaged we're going to take our left hand and our right leg out to start with again you're going to slide them along the floor if you're in your four point kneeling and then stretch them up make them longer make sure your leg isn't higher than your hand hold it then slowly lower to the floor and slide them back into the middle core engage weight doesn't change make sure that wrist and knee are under your hip and shoulder stretching out through the other side don't hit pitch think about the length that you can create not the height back to the floor and then slowly sliding them back into 
the middle. Belly button to spine, core engaged. We're doing three more to each side. Really stretching out through that arm and leg. Keep thinking belly button to spine. Don't forget about those core muscles. They're helping you with your balance right now. Really stretching out through that arm and leg. Back to the mat. And then sliding them back into the middle. Okay, two more on each side. Keep thinking belly button to spine. Careful that your hips aren't hitching, so keep your pelvis in neutral. Imagine you've got a tray of drinks on your back, so as you take that leg up, don't let those drinks spill by tipping through your hip. Back to the middle. Okay, final one to each side. Pull your ribs down towards your hips, don't let that back arch as you stretch that arm and leg away from the middle. Keep your eye line between your hands. Final one like this. And then coming back into the middle. Okay, from here, either going to continue with it like that, or we're going to add in, taking that arm and leg out to the side. So you're going to lift, take them out to the side, back to the middle, down and in. Okay, so here we go, core engaged, sliding that arm and leg out, lifting and lengthening. Then taking them out for a couple, just a couple of inches to the side, back to the middle, to the floor, sliding them back in. Holding in the middle, belly button to spine, check you're putting your wrist and knee down in the correct place, so under your hip and shoulder. When you take your arm and leg out to the side, make sure you don't twist through your body. So keep your trunk in alignment and just move through your shoulder and hip joint. Belly button to spine, eye line stays down between your hands. Don't hip hitch. Don't take your arm and leg out so far that you find that you lose your balance. Just take it out to where you can hold it. We're going to do one more to each side like this, doing really well. Really slowing down that movement. Core engaged, sliding forward, reaching up, out to the side, back to the middle, to the floor, and then sliding back in. Final one, belly button to spine, core engaged, stretching out that arm and leg. Taking them to the side, slowly back to the middle, down to the floor, and bringing them back in and bringing your weight off your wrists and giving them a little wrist wiggle. Thanks for joining my swimming workout today. I hope you feel like your body worked really hard. Take my 10 day challenge and do swimming every day and let me know how your body looks and feels after. Take care for now, bye.